Transition to our free therapy on Thursday. Absolutely. Kids and teenagers need more movement in their lives. I feel guilty every single day because I feel like I need to get my kids outside the minute I get home. Yeah, that's you know? it's, it's important. At least you know it's it, It's right? so important. And you know that when they're really like craving to go outside. And it's not just good to get up and be more active for their physical health either. Exercise can protect a child's mental health as well. Psychologist Dr. Laura Saunders is checking in with us this morning to tell us how. Hi, Doc. How are you? I am well. Hello, friends. Happy Thursday. And yes, we are talking about how physical activity, it doesn't even have to be exercise, because sometimes exercise, people think it's like, you know, you have to do, you know, running or doing something. It's physical activity. Physical activity has so many benefits. In, and in addition, it helps your mental health as well. All right. So I'm thinking physical activity. I head to a gym and I lift some weights and I do some cardio. What? Give us some examples of physical activity that the kids can do that would help. Them. I mean, it. It's anything, right? It's it's playing tag. It's it's you know uh, you know playing with trucks in the backyard. It's okay. going up going up and down a, a slide or swings or it's just being physically active. It's moving your body. It doesn't have to be a planned thing. The adults don't have to do it for them. Um, kids need to use their imagination, uh, but it improves attention and memory. I mean, there's been some new research that that's coming out tracking kids for for long periods of time, like three years. And it shows that it reduces anxiety, it reduces depression, and it reduces the symptoms of ADHD because they've been more physically active. That is huge. I mean, for parents to hear that, because I feel like those are some huge concerns that we do have, right? The anxiety, the depression, ADHD symptoms. Um, is there, with children who do not have underlying vulnerabilities though, can you said that this will improve their attention and memory, will it also reduce a risk of depression too? Yes, it can it can it has all sorts of protective benefits, right? The more you you move your body and and I'm not just talking playing outside by yourself. Let's get a couple other kids involved, let them create things on their own, um but it really does help their their socialization because now they're creating a game where they're running around and and they create their own rules for tag. They do things, right? So that improves socialization, it improves attention, it improves concentration. It, it Im improves your muscles and your endurance. And when you feel better about yourself, naturally, it's just protective for other risk factors. Right. Uh, exactly how much activity are we talking about? Half an hour a day, 60 minutes a day? What's the recommendation? I think the recommendation for kids over five is to get as much as 60 minutes a day, which sounds daunting. Um, but remember, it's getting them off the devices right. and outside. And it doesn't have to be parents structuring these activities. Yeah. It's... You know they're playing in their yard or they're playing you know in a in a in an area with an or neighbor's yard um and it's just letting them play and create it doesn't have to be the adults structuring the activity i love how you say that because i feel like you're speaking to my generation of parents where we need to sign our kids up for so many activities we need something structured and planned you know when our when we're home with our kids we're trying to set up a craft or you know just being with our kids and just having them run around it sounds like that will cover it. <laughs> Absolutely. And and again, I love organized sports. I think they're so <laughs> beneficial for so many reasons. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way, especially on weekends when there is more time, right. um, especially for working parents, you know, letting them go outside and play for several hours on their own, create their own fun, create their own activities, make up their own rules, just get them outside. The weather's still great. Um, and it has just so many protective benefits for them. So let's play a little game. I say red light, you say? Green light, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I know that game. You say stop. <laughs> um, uh, Doc, quick question though. Um, you know, when we're talking about the 60 minutes a day for those five and older, does that also include recess at school? Absolutely. I mean, it doesn't have to be a solid 60 minutes you know, recess at school, phys ed at school. I mean, that's why those activities are really so vital for kids. And I don't ever want to see phys ed or recess taken away, especially from elementary school children. Um, they need that time to release and to burn calories and, and, you know, work through all their energy. So 60 minutes a day can be broken up however um, that works best for families and schools. Dr. Laura Saunders, a wealth of knowledge. Thank you so much for being with us on this Thursday, October 24th. Have a great day. You too. Happy Friday Eve, Doc. <laughs>